What's up guys, welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how to assemble the Y-axis gantry assembly for the Route 2 CNC machine. And I'm going to go over some of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need the LMUU-10 skate bearings. Uh, total, you're going to need 36 of them for this entire kit. Just for this portion alone, for this gantry system, uh, I used 16 of these um, bearings. M8 standard washers, you're going to need a crap ton of those, at least 30, okay? But in my build, I used 3D printed M8 standard washers. These are 14 cents a piece. Um, so yeah, I went cheap and I decided to uh, print some out. I've got a 3D printer. These 3D printed washers are going to work out just fine. You can see where I used them. Um, I think I used close to 36 of them, I believe. I uh, apologize for the wrong number, but if you do have a 3D printer, uh, I'm going to leave the Thingiverse uh, file below. No, not the file, the description. Um, the link. Yeah, there we go. English, please. Uh, to be able to print out your washers, you're going to need... These are a 5 16 bolt here, you know, for the thread. The uh, head of them, it's a 13 millimeter, but it's a 5 16 25 millimeter long. You're going to need it to be at least that long, okay? So that way it goes all the way through. And basically you put it in the opening here, and in the video that you're going to see, I used the nut to actually pull it through. The longer ones here, I used eight of them. But it's it's a three inch bolt that runs through the entire assembly here. Um, it measures out to be 75 or 76 millimeter in length, but basically it's a three inch bolt. The same thing as this one, but it's a uh, three inch. So yeah, 75 millimeter. And make sure that these are at least 25 millimeter in length. The nuts you're going to need at least 36 nuts. <laughs> Maybe more than that for the entire build, but just for easy math, at least 36 of these in the 13 millimeter wrench. For the square tubing, it calls for what I printed out was a 25 millimeter square tubing for my print here. That's what I printed out. But I didn't realize that I couldn't find any 25 millimeter square tubing, aluminum, anywhere. Ace Hardware, Lotus Home Depot. Uh, nobody had exactly what I was looking for. But in the Thingiverse file for this Route 2 CNC kit, he also left a file for a 1 inch tubing as well. Again, nobody had 1 inch square tubing in aluminum at all. Um, the same thing for stainless steel. I end up going with the stainless steel uh, one inch square tubing, four foot long, cut it down to two feet right here. This actually measures out. I walked in with, uh, I carried my dial copper in there and I actually found the square tubing to be 26 millimeter um, here and here. So what I had to do was I took one of my files here and I filed the inside of the 3D printed parts on all four. So that way I can get this uh, square tubing in there and it worked out just fine. But keep in mind though, it may affect your measurements here if you do look at the uh, Thingiverse file. Um, hopefully I'll leave it in the description below. And keep track of your 3D printed parts here because these parts are mirrored. This part is mirrored to this part. This part is mirrored to this part. So pay attention to that. And uh, I hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below.